so welcome to another video another crack house nutritional video video on nutrition in this video i'm going to talk about nutrition again like we say in germany weiter weiter i'm going to be the whole nutrition it means i'm going to talk about nutrition again my name is hendrik and i run crack house entertainment i have another on my on the our parent channel the crack house entertainment channel i have a podcast currently airing every monday and um, in that podcast i try to encourage um, um empower nigerians our brothers and sisters in nigeria who are going through difficult uh, uh, situations because of the condition of things now in nigeria because of um, you know since the removal of fuel subsidy prices of things have gone up um, so so many things have changed and a lot of people are having difficulties just coping with everyday lives with everyday things with just having problems living so and in, uh, in that podcast on that podcast i try to see how i can help my my little way of helping uh because like uh remember i there is a video you know remember i visited nigeria in 2022 and um the things i saw and witnessed while in nigeria made me when i returned to germany i decided to um see how to create that podcast to see how i can contribute where i can how i can help and uh, because i know i know say i know that things things are tough man i know that a lot of nigerians are going through difficulties they are going through difficult times hardship and everything everything is just in the mix and some people don't know or can't figure out where or how they are or where their next meal will come from so in that channel in that podcast i try to help nigerians by giving out monetary assistance now one thing i won't give away today be this make person make person take buy food make person take buy food feed in family make person take solve small problems don't be saying a big problem this no fit solve big problem but if it solves small some small small problem like this christmas where they come this piece of this single note where i also <laughs> by giving out money and helping people just solve some of the many 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 minor little problems some people can't seem to solve not because of their own doing but because of some of the policies our elected leaders have put in place and you know i don't want let us not go into all that so in that um, i am henry and in this video i'm going to talk about nutrition and um it's going to be all about Nigerians. But before I continue, I want to make one thing clear. See, um, before you come up or before you start giving yourself this excuse, this lame excuse that, hey, what is he saying? He's speaking English. I can't understand. I don't understand English. I'm finding it difficult to understand what, what he's trying to say. Referring to me, I have taken it upon myself to make this kind of videos in pidgin english because we all in nigeria we understand and communicate in pidgin english we transact our businesses in pidgin english so before you come up here and start telling yourself or telling your people or trying to make lame excuses that hey i don't understand english i speak in a language i understand i'm gonna speak in pidgin i'm a bibu we have so many diverse uh, this thing, ethnic groups in Nigeria. Over 500 of us. We speak different dialects, different languages. So, But we all understand one simple language. And that language is Pidgin. We all communicate in Pidgin. North, South, East and West of that particular geographical part of the planet called Nigeria. So before I begin the Yan too much. I am a student of um, holistic, uh, um, uh, holistic.
I'm a student of herbal practice and all those and all that in the mix them all up. And um, the reason why I say I'm a student is because I'm still learning. Because you can't learn everything at once. You have to continue. You have to keep on learning. You have to, you learn every day. You learn whenever you take something you've learned before, put it into practice. The result, whatever result that comes from that thing will teach you something new. So I'm still learning. That's why I keep, I keep calling myself, I always refer to myself as a student. It's the student of holistic healing, or holistic practicing, or and, um, herbal practicing, dietary, and all those things. So wait till I get to tell Una now, be say, pardon me, pardon the fact, say, I they run to just finish working out. I'm kind of tired, not tired in the sense of, um, you know, but I'm just like, I'm heat up, I'm hype up. So... Uh, pardon the fact that I'm ranting or oh, I'm like going jumping from here to there using mixing grammars up and down um, so I'm gonna talk about nutrition again today and today I'm gonna like advise you guys on how to get your health back on track so many of us are sick we don't even know that we are sick a lot of us are sick we don't even know we are sick a lot of us are suffering and smiling we don't even know that we are suffering and smiling a lot of us are going through so many things that we don't even know because we haven't had time or had the opportunity to think oh god i said i was gonna speak in pigeon so so <laughs> i said i was gonna make this video in pigeon i said i was gonna speak pigeon so uh, uh, most of us, they suffer, they go through things where we don't even know why and the reason why we they go through those things. Most of us, they're sick. We don't even know, say, we the sick. So in this video, I'm going to tell you, make you understand why you the sick and how some minor, minor, some little, little changes where your feet do, where go solve, where feet go a long way in, in, in relieving you of your pains. In relieving your stress, in relieving your headache, in relieving your diabetics, in healing, reversing your diabetics and high blood pressure. I don't talk, you know, it, it gets too many videos where I don't talk about these things. But I know they really go in depth, like into details, like explain, break these things down. Because sometimes I know they get time and you know, I know I, I'm not that person who believe in blah, blah, blah. I go straight to the point. Tell you this, that, 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 that. I with you. I know they to they jump around, they beat around the bush, the the the, the beat about the bush. So they tell you things where you know one here. I go straight to the point and tell you. Say, look. If you look back, if you look back in our history, and I'm not talking thousands of years ago. I'm talking just a hundred, just a little over a hundred years ago. If you ask your, if you get great grandparents, we're still they alive. Where they up to 80 years old. Ask that your grandparent make him tell you about his or her great grandparent. The time he was five or ten years old, he met his or her great grandparent who were born in the 1800s. Yeah. Ask that your elder your elder make it tell you about those people. Make him tell you about those people, the history of those people. You could see, say a, a lot of things don't change. Between that time, since that time and now, so many things, so much have changed, so much don't change. When it comes to the way, way we defeat ourselves, when it comes to how we treat ourselves, when it comes to how we manage our health, so much, a lot don't change since the time of the, your grandfather's great-grandparent. I don't know if you understand what I am saying. During in their time, in that time, when your grandfather was five years old or ten years old, if he won't tell you about his great grandparents or his grandparents, he could tell you say those people they been live a very separate, a very different life. They been live a very different life from what we they live from how we they live today. Now he make you could see most of them they lived very long and very healthy. They died. You know, they died in their ripe old age. They have not been died of cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, eh, all those things. They have not been died of all those things. No, they lived long and they died in their old age. They died satisfied with life. 
So, so many things don't change since that time and now. Now you could see a 20 year old child, a 25 year old child, a 15 year old child has high blood pressure, is obese, has diabetics. So they no even know, say, they get these things. They no even know. And sometimes they don't know they realize, say, when the body begins, they go into that phase of detoxifying itself. They know they even understand what thing they happen. They go begin go hospital and, and then go begin pump a more orthodox petroleum drugs put inside them. I don't go Nigeria, see how some kids, how kids waiting them they eat. Nobody from the elders, from the parent to the grandparent, where they now. To, to the parents, I mean people in their forties, fifties, sixties. Where they now no even know waiting to tell their grandchildren their children again. A mother, a father who no know how to advise the children on how to live, on waiting to eat. I don't see them. And when I saw them in Nigeria, I was like, damn, what's going on? When I saw parents, parents in Nigeria feeding their children cow milk, a pause that comes from a cow's titties. When I saw parents in Nigeria you know, uh, encouraging their children to eat what they call shawarma now in Nigeria. They encourage their children to eat things like indomie. Encouraging their children to eat processed, ultra-processed food. As sit on like this, I was like, waiting they happen. They then you come see how them, all of them don't fat up, they, they, they don't, they go out of shape. You know, you could see small pekin, belly don't big, waist don't big, but the legs tiny, the face swell, and they feel say, then they say, 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 say now how them supposed look be that. The things where, how we, they practice the way, where we, they eat, now in the kill us they cause all the detoxifying symptoms where we they experience because when the body don't ha 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 had enough when the body have had enough and the, the body be like i'm done i'm you know i've had enough i have to get rid of this because there is nowhere again in the body for me to shift this toxic to when the body don't shift the toxic, they put them everywhere, everywhere. Places don't full, come full up. There is no way again where the body, if it push the toxic, put the body could begin detoxify. The body could begin start to the cleanse itself or uh, out. Now you could make them, you could begin get things like diabetics and high blood pressure and cancer and all those things. Message. Because if you ask yourself, like, I don't talk and before, if you ask yourself, like, if you take a look at cancer, what in the call cancer, what in the cancer, they define them as, uh, uh, as mutated cells, as cells, where don't mutate, what in the mutation, when something don't change, metamorphosis, something don't change from being one thing to the other. The cells don't die. It means, say, cells die in a particular place in your body and when it dies the body sends like the mucus mucus go they go form go cover the cells so as it cover the cells it go make, turn them into like a sack like a bag like a waste bag like a rubbish bag cancer is nothing other than a rubbish bag a waste bag inside your body where your body see the body is very clever the body is very clever. The mitochondria, which is controlling us, is very. These are very sophisticated extraterrestrial organisms because they don't. They didn't come from this planet. These are things that came from outer space. That's weird. That if if you guys want me to talk about these things, I go. I feel make another video to explain. Make I go in depth into these things. Make I talk about them. But when you re really take a look at cancer, look at cancer. Cancer is nothing other than a waste bag inside your body. A bag, a dump, you know, a dump where your body is packing all the dead cells into. So as it, they pack the mutated cells into, because the body no one make the cells, they spread. That is what the body is trying to do. It doesn't want the dead cells to spread to affect the healthy cells. So the body creates an, an environment like a bag. Like a quarantine and try to quarantine the dead cells. That's cancer. 
So what you should do, what you should do if you're clever enough is help your body get rid of that back, empty that back. Because what do you do when your sack back, when your, um, your mole back, when your date, your dustbin is full, what do you do with it? You take it out, you take the, boot, the, 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 the shit out, you take the date out, you empty the date, you empty the back and put a new back in the dustbin. That's what you do and that's what your body is trying to do. So if you know a little, if you know a little, if you know if you're enlightened or if you don't learn things, you could help your body to get rid of that back, empty that back, clean them out. But if you don't know, you could lie inside hospital bed, you could die, you could lie for hospital bed as them they cut your leg off because the diabetics don't kill the nerves inside because your nerves don't back up because your kidney and adrenals know no, they work again so they don't amputate you your leg or they amputate your hand and as them they try to as them they do all these things to your body your people could still they feed you ice cream your people could still they bring you rice and beans your people could still they bring you more your people could still they bring you could, 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 could still come in the morning prepare tea and add cow milk to eat they could still they bring you bread they could fry egg then could put bacon then could put jam then could put uh, chocolate then could still bring you these things and you still could eat these things and as you they eat them, the doctors they inside the room where they, they the doctor where they quote unquote treat you, they inside the room, they wash you, they eat these things, and this is the same doctor who's gonna amputate you, who's telling you you have diabetics. This is it's mind boggling. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. This is the same doctor who is telling you you have high blood pressure, and this is the same hospital who is saving you rice, white rice in the afternoon. Because I visited a hospital here in this country. I was lying in I was, as I mean, as me, they lie inside the hospital. They waiting they save us in the morning. No, not me, because I didn't eat. I knew that time I was just beginning to come into knowledge. But I wasn't fully a student of this practice. I was just beginning to come into this knowledge. I'm lying in the hospital and I'm like, in the morning they brought us bread. They say breakfast. They brought us white bread with with butter, coffee, and milk. And I'm like, in the afternoon, in the afternoon, they brought us white rice. And I'm like, and in the evening, the same bread. I was like, what is going on? Since then, I haven't visited the I haven't visited the hospital again since then. Because it made me ask so many questions. They come and make me begin to ask questions. Say. This is, these are the same people telling me I'm this, this is going on, and but these are the same people. So, when you understand your body, you understand what your body is trying to do. When you decode what your body is trying to do, you figure out that if your body, if the person, if they create, if they, if the force that created you intended for your body to be open. Now, one thing I won't give away. Today be this. Make person makes person take buy food. Make person take buy food. Feed in family. Make person take solve small problem. Don't be saying a big problem. This no fit solve big problem, but if it solves small some small small problem, like this Christmas where they come. This piece of this single note where I also. <laughs> If the force that created you meant for your body to be opened, to be looked into, they could have been a zip, like an opening. They could have been like an opening somewhere on your body. Where they say you fit open them, put your hand inside, remove something, and then zip them up again. This is what I believe. But if you look at us, we, we are all still tight. It means say nothing suppose an, an an external artificial thing no suppose enter inside our body something where no blend with us something where no rhyme with our DNA no suppose enter inside our body be it food be it anything drugs synthetic petroleum drugs be anything no sup all those things anything artificial anything where do where the code. We, we no get the same coding like our DNA, no suppose enter our body. So when you understand that, say, 
As you they eat these things, you they go hospital, you they complain of headache. Most of una we know they smart enough una could they go to uh, herbal doctors and some of the herbal doctors we know they you know learn it enough we never practice the thing and all be because of poverty say they just want collect your money some of them no could tell you the truth the herbal doctor with good intentions could carry herbal concussion herbal mixtures could they give you he no go tell you say in order for that thing we he give you, in order for that thing he has given you to walk, to do what it is supposed to do in your body, you first of all have to detox and cleanse your body out. That herbal doctor no go tell you that. Sometimes they then go tell you you no go pay attention because see I understand it's very difficult to fast. It is very difficult to follow this lifestyle. Believe me. It's very difficult to switch from eating fried egg and fried yam, fried uh, what plantain, pomo, rice and stew, ekusi, fufu, pande. It is very difficult to switch from eating those things to eating fruits and vegetables. But in order for you to make that switch, you first have to ask yourself, say, waiting be fruits, what? are fruits and what are vegetables now when you ask yourself that question and then you come do research come know what in fruits be if when you come understand say beans na fruit when you understand say chickpeas na fruit when you understand say you see when you begin understand these things and then you begin ask yourself say why did why them classify these things like that now there you could see, say, you know, they too hard for you to make that switch to jump from eating a dead, dead animal, dead carcass to eating plants. Them tell you, say, here yeah, you need pro <laughs> anytime I want to talk about this, it always makes me laugh. They could tell you, say, yes, you need to eat dead animals to get protein. And you know they're smart enough to ask them, say, where did that dead animal God get that protein from? And even as you they eat that dead animal, you know, even they're smart enough to tell you, ask yourself, say, why am I eating? It's like um, it's like me taking a, it's like me going to a tree. Let's say I go to an apple tree. I plucked an apple tree or I plucked a mango tree. Instead of eating that mango, I pluck that ma mango, take that mango to a goat, give it to a goat, the goat eats that mango, and then I kill the goat, open the goat's stomach, take the remains of that mango and begin eat them, then say, yeah, I don't get the nutrient, the, the vitamin, where from that mango come? I beg, help me understand which kind of sense where that one make. Does that even make sense? <laughs> Because you you killing you need to see you kill a, a goat a cow you eat them you say you won't get protein, but that same cow been get in own protein from eating grass all day eating leaves all day. Apart from that, the protein where that cow been get from eating the the, the grass all day. The cow itself don't metabolize, don't use up the protein. So anything where you they eat, anything where you feel say you they get from eating the dead cow. Now they buy products, the unwanted ones, the ones where the cow no need, no be need. Now you they get, no be the original. So why not go to the source? Where be the grass, the trees, where the cow been they eat in the first place to get the protein. I don't know when I want to get with you and talk here. All the things where we they eat. Nobody don't ever advise us on how to eat and on and how to live. And when the thing come come back, come they hit us, we could begin complain. We could begin they run around. We no could know where waiting to do. We could begin they do like the chicken where they cut the head off. We could they run around, no know waiting to do. At, at the end it could fall down. It could die. Nothing where you they go through, no problem where you get from high blood pressure because I know same 99% of you guys they suffer high blood pressure. 
nothing none of those things where you they go through where no come from waiting you they eat the lifestyle where you they live the environment where you find yourself in the people where you surround yourself with and if you want to get rid of those things, if you want to re reverse those things, if you want to heal your diabetes, your high blood pressure, your can everything, you need to do away with some things. You need to change your lifestyle, get rid of some toxic people, change some things where you they eat, just turn your life anew. I could uh, make this kind of videos often. Now nah, I don't tire. I won't go home. I'm Henry Crackhouse. The show, the podcast is some funny so on the other uh, crackhouse channel for you so uh, is every monday 7 p.m nigerian time till end of the year beginning of next year i'll be coming online mondays wednesdes and fridays to host that funny so show that you know in that show i give away money i help nigerians solve some minor minor problems i'm henry crackhouse i could see you now in my next video till then stay blessed remain healthy no say end of the year don't they come crazy people don't they go out they do reckless things they behave recklessly they drive recklessly you know people know they're conscious again people know they're security conscious again they very very allowed to be allowed to watch go know where you day so that you fit survive see next year make you give thanks to your god and your creator i'll see you in my next video till then peace and out now one thing i won't give away today be this make person make person take buy food make person take buy food feed in family make person take solve small problem no be saying a big problem this no fit solve big problem but if it solves small some small small problem like this Christmas where they come. This piece of this single note where I also <laughs>